Hello, everybody. Captain Marty here. It is Friday, August the 30th. Not only have we about knocked this month in the head, but we have a nice holiday weekend, a three-day weekend for a lot of us. And I'm going to paint a little picture, tell you what you can expect, what happened yesterday on the fishing front. So stay right where you're at. Teaches Lair Marina in Hatteras Village is the closest spot on the Outer Banks to the Gulf Stream. Just inside Hatteras Inlet, Teaches Lair is fully loaded with bait, tackle, ice, snacks, and drinks for your fun-filled day out on the water. Want to get rigged up to catch the big one? Lee and the gang in the tackle shop can outfit you to catch whatever is eager to get hooked. To see the marina, the tackle shop, or to book a charter, go online to teacheslair.com. Teaches Lair Marina in Hatteras Village. Your fishing venture awaits. Real. That's the first word that comes to mind when I think about Outland Seafood in Mans Harbor. Yeah, they're the first and last place you see coming to and leaving the Outer Banks on Highway 64 in Dare County, but they're also real when it comes to fresh local seafood. Troy Outland, real. Curtis and Josh, real. The indoor crab shedders, real. Stop by and see for yourself right next to White Shopping Center and check them out on social media. Outland Seafood in Mans Harbor, real. So as we go into the Labor Day weekend, we talk about Hatteras, um, kind of picky on on that end uh, in some regards. They've been catching a few mahi or dolphin, the fish dolphin, and most of them are small, but they're still crowd pleasers. And those three to five pounders are, well, all of them are good eating, but those are particularly good eating. The fleet was small yesterday, but they uh, also had a few wahoo in the catches like they've been doing, uh, a few blackfin tuna, and some Sometimes more than a few earlier in the week, they had some really good catches put on the dock. They had all that and something we haven't talked about. I don't think I've mentioned it this summer in a catch. Should have, but they had some barracuda. And yes, we do catch barracuda in our area. There are actually quite a few of them out there. They're not highly respected, but they do are fun to catch when you're not getting a bite. Anything that jumps out of the water and pulls on a pole is happy to some people, especially if you're from Ohio or Pennsylvania. So we shouldn't, we shouldn't. Uh, do anything but praise them really their inshore boats down there have been catching a little bit of everything you can tell it's a little scrappy some of the ones are a little further offshore doing some bottom fishing for amberjacks and anything else they might dra- drag up off the bottom close to the beach there's been spanish mackerel bluefish a few ribbon fish and every once in a while a drum for their inshore fleet far as Oregon Inlet goes, they had some good catches. Some of the boats had limits of dolphin. Again, the bailers, what we call the bailers, meaning you bail them into the boat like hay. That's where that name comes from. You can get your 60 or whatever the limit is nowadays in 10 minutes because they just will follow you. You slow down, you get everybody out on the stern of the boat, and uh, you always leave one in the water. That's a decoy. And if you do that, the whole school will stay right with your boat. I've never seen another fish that will do that. All you do is leave one in the rod holder and let it drag along right behind the boat and all the rest of them will stay right there and if the mate has done his job you bait up the hooks you get everybody working a little system on the back of the boat and you bail the dolphin you catch these are all those three to five pounders and you catch your 16 going about your day and it's really a pressure reliever for the captain uh, it's great fare on the table so that's uh that was good they also had a, a some blackfin tunas in the catches over the last few days and both fleets have had a few billfish mostly sailfish but uh i do know that captain william howe on the drifter yesterday out of oregon inlet he had two blue marlin in a white so that's uh, any day you catch a blue marlin is a good day so uh, that's what happened at Oregon Inlet. Our surf and pier fishing remains pretty much the same. Not a whole lot going on. A scattered cobia off the piers. And there's been a few scattered cobia uh, by our boat fishermen as well. Uh, you know, I should have probably included that with the nearshore fleet, but uh, there are a few cobia as they work back down south from the Chesapeake Bay. I mentioned that in yesterday's report. And then we have a little bit of opportunity for some other things in the surf, but it's going to be your bottom fish primarily. Sea mullet spots, croakers, uh, and then if you're lucky on top, bluefish and Spanish mackerel. And if you want something that's really a challenge and a great fight off the end of the pier, a false albacore. They've been catching quite a few of those. There's scattered puppy drum in the catches and everything is identical to that in the surf as well. So just if anything really busts loose, of course, I would let you know, but we're looking okay to fish off the pier where you do not need a fishing license or off the surf where you do need a fishing license, but it's what 
over history of the Outer Banks, a whole industry has been built up around surf and pier fishing. So maybe uh, go out, if you get on the piers, they're really good and so are local tackle shops about teaching you how to rig up and how to use the tackle. If you don't have tackle, they'll be happy to rent it to you and get you set up to go fishing. Now we'll take a little break right here and I'll be right back to tell you about what's going on in the backcountry. Come and experience fishing for the whole family aboard the Crystal Dawn at Pirates Cove Marina in Manio. The Crystal Dawn is a roomy 65 foot head boat, fully equipped with the latest gear to give you the best fishing experience. Worried about getting seasick? Fear not. The Crystal Dawn stays in safer and shallower waters to lessen the likelihood of that happening. Half day and private fishing trips are available. To find out more, go online to crystaldawnheadboat.com. The Crystal Dawn Headboat out of Pirates Cove. Fishing that is fun for all ages. In the backcountry, the sheephead bite is still on. I saw some of the Hatteras guys down there. Of course, they were doing a, catching a lot of variety in their backcountry catches back in the Sound and inside the inlet. Um, they had uh, down that way some speckled trout and some gray trout, some bluefish, uh, a few of the smaller drum and the sheephead that I mentioned to you. So that's a nice variety for our guides down that way and for our do-it-yourselfers. And the guys up further up the sound in Oregon Inlet also doing well on sheephead drum, red drum, and uh, the speckled trout bite, which hasn't been as good lately, but uh, that's just because it's so hot. That will pick back up as we get into fall. It seems like the big speckled trout are caught spring and fall. But right now, uh, everything is business as usual, and that report has not changed much in the last month. And uh, that's a good thing. Remember, if you uh, if you don't have a way of going on your own, the actual cheapest way to go fishing and do that kind of fishing is to go with a charter boat, a guide. And let me tell you, it's a way, way less expensive than having your own boat and a boat payment or uh, have to go to the bank to finance one. So it's also a great way to learn. And these guys are great teachers. So it might be something to keep in mind to see what how the rig looks, what kind of uh, bait they use, what kind of lure they use. It's all good. And before I leave you today, I do want to tell you that tomorrow will be the first annual Gibbs Shoal Fishing Tournament in Hyde County. Uh, this is to benefit the Englehart Volunteer Fire Department, a, a small fire department a bunch of good young guys there, men and women, and they are doing their first tournament. I've been helping them. I'll be the waymaster, and our way station and headquarters will be Madame Mesquite, Madame Mesquite High School between, well, the weigh-ins are from 2 to 4 o'clock, and then after that, you can buy a plate, which will also contribute to the fundraiser, and buy a barbecue plate cooked right on the premises, and uh, have all that going on as well. So, they have really put a lot of work into it. I really appreciate your support, and uh, when I get next time you hear me, I will be giving you the updates in the winners there's a thousand dollars for first place in each of the key three categories which are speckled trout red drum and sheephead uh, or sheep's head as the scientists want to call it so anyway all that's going on this weekend also i believe i'm correct in saying i think there'll be dove season opens up so people will be getting back to the woods uh, it's the best time of year to be on the outer banks is fall in my book and uh, i'll let you know where you need to go and what you need to do i know one thing though you're not gonna catch them laying in the motel room sleeping until 10 o'clock so get up Get out on the beach, get out on the pier, and go fishing. And have a great day. This is a day that the Lord has brung. Let us be glad and rejoice in it.